Hey, this is Meredith from vidpromom.com and this week I've been editing a GoPro video in a piece of software I've never used before. It's called Wondershare and they've been kind enough to sponsor this post. Wondershare is a really fun editing software that's really easy to use right out of the box. It's available for Mac and PC and there's a bunch of really cool effects that make it really fun to edit your family videos and GoPro videos and things like that, which is exactly what I was using it for this week. So let's go check it out. Okay, so this is my project that I have open here in Wondershare that I've already been editing. I have imported a bunch of clips and I dragged them down to the timeline down here. And as you can see, the timeline is, it's like, it's lighter and is a little bit bigger than what you would see in GoPro Studio or Premiere Pro. It's um, it's just kind of easier to see everything that's going on. And then all of the basic editing functions are right here in this little panel. So um, you would hit this one here to import your media. I found that this window wasn't actually very helpful. And instead, what I did to import my media was I just dragged it right in from my desktop. There's also the function here to do a screen record or to record a voiceover. I haven't tried those out yet because I just didn't need to. And then trash can obviously is to delete something. Over here, this little scissor tool will split your clip wherever your red scrubber bar is. And then you have the option to crop your video if you want to and um, rotate your video if you need to. And then right here is something called the power tool, which I'll get to in just a minute because it's really, really cool. But over here in the inspector is where you can really quickly and easily adjust your colors and your brightness or rotate things and then set the speed if you want to slow it down or speed it up or even just play it in reverse. So if you hit this power tool here, it brings up another window and it, you have three really, really interesting options here. The first one is called Tilt Shift, which you've, if you've ever used um, photo editing apps on your phone, a lot of times you have this um, ability. It's where you blur things out on the edges. And then, so you can do that and adjust. It kind of adds an interesting effect and it, it kind of makes it look a little bit more cinematic sometimes, but I don't usually apply that to any of my videos or photos, so I'm gonna uncheck that. The mosaic function is really cool. What you do is you hit add, and it's gonna give you a rectangle that you can change the size, and you can basically blur out anything you want in in your clip, and then you can adjust how blurred out it is. So maybe it's only a little bit blurred out. That's pretty cool, I really like that. It's a really neat function. And then face off is really interesting also. If you check this box, um, it recognizes people's faces. And since I have the mosaic blur thing um, selected here, that's what it's applying to people's faces as it recognizes them. So you could make it little ghost, you could make it this guy, this guy has all these options. <laughs> to add um, different things, those ones look like minions, um, to people's faces. So if I hit OK, then it's going to apply that to the entire clip. It's going to analyze people's faces throughout the entire clip. So as you can see, it doesn't recognize every single face. So this little boy with a green shirt on doesn't recognize his face. If my kids weren't moving around so much and if there wasn't like a hundred other kids in this pool, then probably it would work really, really well. And it would be just kind of a fun way um, to create a little video. And I think my kids would love that. Of course, you can add regular titles just like you would on um, you know, in any video, but they're, the titles that they have available already, like kind of designed, are really, really neat. So if I drag one of these down here, this one is for the end, but we'll see what it looks like. So it does this animated title at the end. That's pretty cool. So it kind of has all these different titles organized here. So if I click opener, um, let's say I just want something really simple. This is the beginning of my video on the cruise. And all I have to do is double click on it. It will open it up so that I can edit it uh, from, from there. So all I have to do is type, whoop. So you can move things around or you can just select the text. Um, so we were on the Disney fantasy and this was 
our um, Star Wars Day at Sea, which was January, we'll do this, which was January 13th, 2016. So I think I'm just going to keep the white. I guess I could change each of these colors if I wanted to, but I kind of like the regular old white. Um, so we're going to keep that and it looks good. This is just a, um, this video I had the GoPro just setting right on the pool deck, um, and not moving around a lot. So it has kind of a dark background. So I'm going to keep the white text. So if I hit okay, then over here we can watch it. Pretty cool, right? So it's already animated and all you have to do is edit the words and edit your colors. And then of course, there are so many other options that you can include in here as well. And then under filters, there's all kinds of really interesting ones. There's Halloween filters, so you can kind of make things look maybe a little bit creepy and a little bit dark and things like that. And then there's these overlays, which you can, so here's like a film strip overlay. You would just drag it down um, to apply it to that clip. And then just make sure that it covers the whole clip if you want it on the whole clip. So this is what it would look like if we use one of these bokeh filters. So probably not what I would choose, you know, for that clip. But it's it's an interesting one to just kind of experiment with. And then there's these elements that you can use. So um, this one is like an anchor. So that would be perfect um, for my vacation video here. So if I just drag it down... We have our title, and then we just have this little pop of an anchor and a rope, which just kind of fits with our video. So, you know, it works for me. And then you have lots of transition options. You know, I like to have very simple, um, plain Jane transitions, if any transitions at all. But you can get pretty crazy with some of the ones that are available here. This blind one is kind of neat. It's not too crazy. It's pretty simple. So that's a good way to kind of transition from your, your title clip into your main clips there. All right, and then there's the thing that like everybody always wants to know is how do I add music or can I add music? So yes, you can. I didn't use any of the audio or anything that's available with Wondershare. I wanted to use uh, royalty-free music that I downloaded completely on my own. So what I did was I imported a, um, a song called Summer Nights, which I just dragged into this media bin area here and all I have to do is drag it down here you can see the uh, the layer for the audio because it has the little music notes there so obviously all of the audio from the clips are uh, still in the clips and at full volume and then the music is at full volume too but all we have to do is hit the um, little inspector thing here on our clips and we can just go to the audio and then all we have to do is turn the volume down. So um, you could maybe go down to maybe 20% or so if you want to leave some of your background noise in there, which I usually like to do because it's not really a music video. You know, you want to kind of have a, some sort of sense of where you are and kind of that part of the experience. And then I know in this next group of clips here, my kids are talking and to the camera and I want to hear what they're saying without having this crazy loud music. So um, all you would have to do then is split that music clip. Um, and then I'm going to come over here to the end of that little sequence. Actually, I'm going to keep it, I'm going to end it here. Um, and then I'm going to split it again and I'm going to take this part of the clip and I'm going to lower the volume quite a bit. We'll go with 20% there. Yeah, we are having so fun here, and, and we are both going to talk to you. 
So obviously we can play with the fine tuning of that so that we have music that is fading out and then fading in and it's not just dropping from full volume to 20%. And that's all possible here with Wondershare. Yes, you have lots of control over your audio that are in your clips and over the audio that is like your background music, um, which is really great because you want to have some really great rock and background music. So overall, Wondershare is super easy to use right out of the box. I really enjoyed it. The layout is pretty similar to what you'd expect from any video editing software. Plus with all of the filters and overlays and elements and all those kinds of fun things, um, it reminds me kind of of creating a scrapbook video. You have all these little creative elements that you can kind of add to your experience if you want to um, and kind of just get creative with it. So it's really fun to use and I highly recommend that you at least try it out if you're looking for video editing software to get started with. So that's it. I hope this little mini tutorial introduction to Wondershare was helpful for you. It's a really fun piece of software to try out and I definitely recommend it, especially if you want to get a little bit creative with your videos. That's all. Thanks. Bye.